Hey, missed you at our AEP kickoff, the only live event in the nation. The only live event live from Las Vegas. Okay. Stay tuned while we recap some of the things you missed. Hi, I'm Rebecca Gordon. I'm Sylvia Gordon. It's freezing outside, so. It's freezing, but her arms. It was 60 degrees. Her arms are warm. It was right. 50. I have two jobs. I think it was 51. Darren told me this morning. It was nice. No, what? It was nice. We did have a great AEP event. I, you know, it was like touch and go. Scott did not come. Scott, shame on Gary you. Gary did not come. But it, we were really nervous. We, we really wanted to have a live event. We wanted that interaction. We wanted to see all of our friends. And we weren't sure up until the morning of if we'd be able to pull it off. And I didn't know if anybody would come. I didn't know if anyone would come either. <laughs> so we had everybody, everybody spaced. Very far. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. They spaced all the way, and we, it was great. It was two sessions. It was great. It and, was awesome. And a lot of people came up to me, and they're like, thank you for having this. Yeah. Like, I wanted to go to something. I want to be out and see people. Isabel said, I thank you because I need the energy. I want the energy. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I feel you. It's weird. It was when fun. You can't interact at all with your profession. And I actually, I mean, I've had a couple people, several people say that this should be maybe the... Um, the platform for future ones, two sessions. I don't know, let us know what you think. Do you want a whole day event or do you want two sessions? I don't know. I don't know, but it's, I would like to nominate us for the best AEP kickoff event in the nation. In the, and I second that. Since we're the only live event in the nation, I think we need to get an award and will you guys please put an I award a on the screen yes. that we win. Because we win, we're winners. Because we did it safely and people got value and it was fascinating. I, I, it's riveting. Yeah. Some of the things that you missed that we talked about, we talked about the new fair market value, commissions going up. Um, the one thing we always try to remind you. It's the ceiling the most. They can, can pay, pay you less. less. And check that because carriers are renowned, especially Part D, for paying you a little less. 100. And paying your renewal a little less. They can do that. And you have a choice who to sell for. So right. maybe look at that before you start selling and then call us in January and go, hey. Hey. Read your contract. You know, another thing that I thought was really interesting we covered was all the different voice scopes. I right. think we showed like six different carriers that do the voice scopes six different ways. Well care, you have to talk to a live person. So that is something in the event you did miss uh, the event or our live streaming, we were on Facebook Live. Um, you're gonna have to talk to a live person. So just consider that. Cause, Cause it'd be really cool to talk to a live person. Absolutely. However, that also could be backlogged to like, in my, yeah. that could possibly be backlogged. So right. that could be a frustration. There is a carrier that will have a part D that is extremely low priced under $10. So I just want to alert you that if you're all excited about that, check out the limitations on the pharmacy network. Okay. You're not saying who it is? No. Okay. But you can ask us in the comments. You can ask us. Um, I did want to uh, follow up on Envision RX. So after we talked last week about Envision RX stopping to paying commissions on agents, which we were not upset about at all, they came out with Elixir RX and they're, they're not mapping their members over, mm -hmm. but their members can enroll in that and they will continue to pay you, the original agent, the commission, as long as you do what we told you last week. Oh, so you still have to check your email and upload your AHIP okay. and have that done by October 1st? No, after October 1st, not paying commissions. Oh, 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 okay. So I don't know what, oh, no, no, when no, no. they're making you get your AHIP up there, but it, probably before October 15th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's Elixir RX. If you hear about that, they're not Elixir. paying agent commissions other than they'll pay you either renewal on your existing clients, but they don't map. They have to call to enroll or they will be called and enroll. Jesus. So Good Lord. fun. Boom. Hey, our fine folks who are working in Walmarts this year, you have to wear a mask while you're working at your booth. It's not our rule. Yeah, we're getting a little calls from people that are angry. One guy, we're like, we told you you have to wear a mask when you signed up for this two months ago. He goes, I figured COVID would be gone by now. He's like, I figured, no. He's like, there's no way I'm sitting there with a mask on. I'm like, okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. Not really but, that big deal. Yeah, but the whole thing with the Walmart program is you call and you yell at your FMO. It's like, we make yeah. none of these rules. Mm -mm. None of these rules. We don't collect your money. It's we like don't refund your. We're just stuck in the middle. We're trying to Wear educate you. Yeah. Wear, Wear your mask. mask. Um, this is an, a CMS guideline here. This is a website 
And Clint is probably watching. Thank Clint, you. Clint, you're Clint. awesome. Gina's probably not watching. I really liked Clint. So though. right here it says, call Gina, boom. CMS requires if it's going to call an agent from an agent phasing website that it says calling the number above will direct you to a licensed sales agent that is required to be on your website if it is consumer facing. I would expect that 99.9% .9 of you are not following that guideline. So please ask your webmaster to update your website. Another thing I just want to point out on this website is that their remote meetings schedule a video chat. So we talked quite a bit about Zoom and different platforms at the kickoff. And we're doing a series of webinars this week, how to use those different platforms. But anywhere on your website, schedule a Zoom meeting make, video sure, call. make sure that this is at the very top. So when your consumer is on your page, they can find your number easily, they can find your email, and they can schedule. They can pick a date, boom, 3 p.m., boom, Confirm. Confirm. Sweet. Teach your clients so how easy. to use this technology. This will become the appointment setting of yeah. the future. If you need it, I need a website that's more reactive, call us. We do subsidize those with our agents that have their core carriers with us. So, Let, oh, uh, 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 this is this doesn't fit anywhere, but you know we're on a lot of social media platforms and a lot of you are active <laughs> on social media too. And one of the things I always stress is you gotta be on top of your comments. Yeah. So. Anything weird on this one? I don't know how well they can see it, but this guy responded with a link, freedatinggirls.com. Thanks, James. James Clark. James Clark. So why do people do this? To be ornery? To be rude? They're just trying to, to screw us hook, up. On, hook on your train. They're expecting that you're not watching your comments and you're not gonna delete it out and they just spam all over to get business for their sites. So you have to be proactive with your, girls. with your sites, otherwise people will use you for nefarious means, you know? And there'll be crap on there. Clean it up, James. Yeah, clean it up. Clean it up. Okay, what else do you got from CMS? All right, Medicare inpatient only list. Um, so they are proposing to move more than 266 procedures so that people don't have to stay in the hospital. They can do it on an outpatient basis. So a lot of It'll people lot aren't, of money. they're not aware that the reason some things are inpatient is because CMS requires they be inpatient. Even if your doctor's like, yeah, you don't need to stay here. So they're moving 266 procedures off of that list. And then you get the, the back, the backsplash, what the backlash, you get back the backlash splash. where people are like, I want to stay in three nights, and, you know? So that was me after I had my kids. Yeah, so they're taking people with more. hip with hip replacement. They bring you in oh, at, at right. seven in the morning, and you're you're, you're discharged. Out. And right. it saves people a lot of money. It does. So in the end, it is saving you money. Is it a risk for some people? Is it the hopefully, best course? Hopefully, your doctor yeah. is the one that's saying right. you need to stay. Right. But if you don't need to stay, to get you out of there. Unlike my goat, who just spent three days at the vet. We don't want to explain what happened to the goat. My yeah. little goat, Ollie, who's been on this program. Oh, yes. Had a little injury, minor, but the vet wanted to keep him for three days. The vet will probably still have him there. And you know, <sighs> they did nothing for the vet. They did nothing for him. Oh, but they just, just wanted to keep him him? under observation for an He's astronomical under fee. Observation. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. We can't wait to see yes. this bill. Where if he was on Medicare, they would have kicked his butt out of there. <laughs> They there would have was, eaten him. There was nothing wrong with him. Let's let's yes. be honest. We would be eating him by now. Yes. All right. So, and now you, if my kids heard me say that, my daughter Evelyn would be really mad. I always joke about eating her guinea yeah. pigs. Uh, we have a summer bonus, which it is still summer, thank God. So, looks like we have completely lost our minds, and we are going to be paying you to attend our next IUL Life Boot Camp. Does 200 bucks. Let's see what date it is. It does. It just says, reach out to your marketer. Um, IUL boot camps, great life programs, and we're paying you. And there's also a thousand dollar bonus to submit an IUL with us. So reach so out to your marketer. Join definitely that. reach out to your. I'm off for two hundred bucks. I'm gonna. Hell, do I'll it. join. I'm yeah. going. I do all those it. things whenever they're like twenty five bucks. This, I always do that. <laughs> uh, they read off the attendance. Rebecca here. Sylvia here. Yeah, so this is the quiet time of the year, right before the storm when everybody starts to order supplies and they can't figure out how to do it. Then they forget to do it and they want to know how they get in after the deadline. Spoiler alert, you can't. You out of luck. Yeah, so mark your calendar. If you're on vacation, and I can't help you on that, 
And no, we don't stock them. It's funny no. because we used to. People oh my like to God. Then. Oh my God. We had shelves and shelves and shelves in all the different states. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's crazy. So we don't do that anymore. Most of the things are electronic. Um, I was doing a consultation yesterday and they were like, why do you think more agents aren't adopting <sighs> okay. electronic apps? You gotta run. I gotta go. I have uh, hurt my back again. And I have to go to the chiropractor and I'm going to okay, be late. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks. Bye. So why more people don't do electronic apps? So if you're watching and you don't do electronic apps, will you tell me in the comments? Because what I told them is, uh, what you guys have all told me is I want to retire. I want to die without ever having to learn how to do all these apps, learn all these different logins and all these different platforms. And a lot of you have told me that. Just like paper's easy. I got paper in my briefcase. I've been doing it my whole career. I want to keep doing that. If that's you, let me know in the comments, just be honest. If there's another reason, if there's another barrier to entry, share that with me. We do see the adoption rate edging up. And it's like, if I actually show you how to do this one, then you can do it, but then you forget how to do the other one. It's just really hard since we sell for so many different companies and some of us sell in so many different areas that unless you're a full-time telesales agent where you are just an online agent, the rest of us really kind of struggle. So I've done Mutual Omaha med subs online for many years. I don't think I did one last year because I just got too busy and I could, it was just way easier to grab it than to try to, you know, I lost my login and try to reset. It's like, forget it. Let me just go. So I'm guilty as charged, but keep in mind that the carriers lose money when you write paper and that's near and dear to their heart. So we all have to push our adoption of online because there will come a time where we won't have the ability to write paper, or it's going to cost us for the convenience of writing paper. So I'm putting that out there. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.